Hello. Ah, uh, Robin, looking fresh, homies. Yeah, looking good. Paths to Glory has now been wow. live for about a month, and many of you have already made very good progress. On boy, all these skins, boy. Your journal completion. We've been monitoring the update, and despite seeing a few things we're going to improve here and there, we're pretty happy overall. Ah, oh, I'm also happy. <laughs> In particular, the rebalancing of the roads of Avalon yeah. has made them far more competitive yeah. with the mists, yeah. which has led to a sustained uh, increase of activity in the feature. Both PvE and PvP playtime in the roads is up, which shows how the time invested in rebalancing and reworking the feature. Who plays? Who plays this W on a Claymore? Time in the roads is up, which shows how the time invested in rebalancing. Who the fuck uses the E with one charge on a claymore? And reworking the feature benefits various different player groups. We also believe that oh, really? more players <laughs> active in the roads of Avalon will make using them as a transport route more challenging, which will benefit the overall risk uh, of, mammoth oh. of hideouts. What? So Ma mammoth and roads guys, boy, crazy. They are the mammoth spawner in the roads risk now. And reward balance of hideouts. So what does this mean going forward? We're continuing to push for one game update per season. And for our next update, we've set our sights on updating the open world. <gasps> Similar to what we've done with the roads, we want to improve the attractive Massive dildo here. I like that. But it looks like Elden Ring, homies. Looks like Black Myth Vulcong environment. Of ...playing the open world in comparison to the mists. Hello, that's mist. Noodle. By rebalancing its rewards, reworking some content, and adding new features. Our key goals for the open world are... Increase its attractiveness for solo players. Make... Increase attractiveness for solo players or more. Those things just don't go together. What will they do to the Earth Mother? <laughs> like, the the concept itself just doesn't work together. It, it, you can't do that. You, okay, let's, see, let's see before... before I... Increase player activity in the inner outlands. Offer more challenging and rewarding PvE. So... How do we plan to achieve those goals? To make the open world more attractive, we're planning to add new PvE objectives for solo players. In addition, we're working on new mechanics to bring you deeper into the Outlands more quickly, reducing the risk of getting ganked near portal cities. Mm -hmm. So that is a portal zone. And that is a portal, which... I would guess now is probably like a random randomizer for the deep zones in black zone. Mm -hmm. Thanks like Brazil imported then, I guess. For group content, we're primarily planning to boost the rewards for group random done. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I just talked about that. Whilst making sure grouping up to play these is worthwhile. We'll also take a look at other group content of course to increase oh, player like activity that. in the inner outlands we're planning to boost pve rewards and difficulty based on the cluster quality so clusters in the innermost <laughs> outlands would contain some of the highest value and highest challenge pve in the game mm -hmm. this should lead to higher quality clusters becoming more competitive and reducing competition for pve content near the portal city to offer more challenging and rewarding pve we're planning to revisit the power curve for open world and random dungeon mobs. Essentially, while the player power has consistently been improving with the addition of elite levels, the mastery bonus, new enchantment levels, additional specialization bonuses, and awakened items. Who, go who goes? Auto attack damage? on four channels. 
The mop power hasn't been adjusted for a very long time. What we're looking to do is to increase the power of higher tier mobs whilst simultaneously increasing their rewards, which would finally bring back some higher end PvE. Oh, 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 oh. So, Morgana, Keeper, and Undead Chaz, yeah? They all now come with different. Maybe they have a higher chance dropping an artifact or something. To the open world. Because most of these yeah, improvements affect the Outlands, we're also considering some changes on the Royal Continent, which would make some tier 5 and tier 6 content available in the blue and yellow zones, respectively. Wait, Expanding what? the content new players can explore before taking a deep dive into Albion's full loot PvP zones. In addition to this focus on the open world, we're of course working on other things too. We're planning to further extend the journal with two additional categories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're planning to further extend the journal. A horsey. All right, we get a horse skin for the journal. That's nice. This has a good banner, right? So I would assume that this horse might be related to ZBZ journal. Just because it has a guild banner. And this one, categories. I already know guys, this is for islands. So we got, we got islands and ZBZ journal. And they also said, they also said, they will add four more categories minimum for the journal. So there are two more to come, minimum. We're also working on a more customizable HUD. Ah, uh, yeah, customizable hut, bro. That's Voros. What you mean? It's nothing crazy. That's probably the biggest change in the fucking game. Customizable hut. What you mean, Voros? Look at that. I've been asking for that. We all have not me only. Uh, we all have been asking for that for so long, bro. Like. Oh my god, that's gonna be so good. The thing I want the most is I want the character screen in the middle of my things because I fucking hate it checking on my buff list the entire time, like looking into the sky, you know? Bro, that is the biggest change. That is the best quality of life thing I've ever seen. 200 years later, yeah, better late than never, right? But that's huge. Finally, that's gonna change many, many things. Many things, bro. <laughs> Vorbo said it's not good. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> bro, you can move! What? <laughs> bro, Albion becomes an MMO like any other game. Crazy. HUD, saveable settings presets, which you can switch between using a hotkey. Ooh. And we're developing additional inventory management options, as well as other convenience features many of you have been... Wait, what would he say? What? What? Inventory management options. Inventory management options? What that means? Using a hotkey, and we're developing additional <sighs> inventory management options. What that means? As mean? well as other convenience features many of you have been asking for. So, more slots. Uh, more slots. Uh,. Uh, take all, uh, filter, uh, f favor, uh, um, making, th making items, uh, favorite items, so if you place all, it doesn't use the favorite item, yeah? That's what it means? Uh, that's what it means? P potion stacking? <laughs> yeah? Of course, wow. we're also working on the next batch of crystal weapons. Finally, we're working on technical advancements like improving the rendering performance of the user interface, and upping the cheat protection for the game to upping the cheat protection guys upping the cheat protection they have been listening <laughs> they know it they know it and they're admitting they're not saying it but the to ensure a fair playing field now and into the future <sighs> wow. All in all, we're pushing further on our mission to make Albion the best sandbox MMORPG out there. You guys do, Thank bro. You for like. Watching.
thank you for playing, and stay tuned for more Dev Talks. In the meantime, if you have anything you'd like to ask or want to draw our attention to, please leave a comment and we'll address the most popular questions in a future video. Very much. I very much look forward. I don't know about the open world changes too much. I guess I have to see that first. I don't know how solo play be available for solo players in open world. Those two things, they just don't go together by nature. Um, but uh, I guess maybe they find a good way to do that. I don't know. It's obvious that the other zone warriors are playing SBI bills. Now they're going to give them tier 6 the other zone. Well, yeah. I mean, if... If SBI sees the value in those things and it's gonna improve their their income, which improves their capability of listening to community's feedback and actually improving the game, bro, let let the yeah, Amazon players have TA. I give a shit, bro. I think they will put camp like miss in open world. I think um I think the only way to make it solo player friendly if it would be uh, like a small instance, you know, you zone in. And you only face another solo player inside these like camps or whatever that is. It has to be instanced, I think. Otherwise, I don't see. We got damage. I don't see how it is possible.